All right. You'll notice I, uh... Wait, I got a sound effect for this. Yeah, back down to zero. I mean one. I, I played another one. I kind of rage deleted uh, my loss, so... That will never see the light of day, but... I was not happy. But you know what? It's fine. We're gonna do some... We're gonna, we're gonna get back up there. 22 was the uh, number before. The 22 is the number to beat. Well, Tethys and Umbra. That's a combo. I gotta be honest, so Crypt Builder at the start of Hap and, and Train. I like that. This will allow a conduit start. I got Stygians too. It's much better than Umbra. Literally any ban. Umbra is the new Hellhorned for banners. Like pre DLC, remember how poor it was to like, hit a Hellhorn banner? Now that's Umbra. They've like switched. Actually, nah. Umbra still sucked before too. It was just Hellhorn sucked so bad on Umbra on uh, banners that it just eclipsed it. But now Hellhorn's like maybe my third favorite to see. Stygian has gone down. They the, before they were by far my favorite to see was Stygian. Now I'd say they're probably second to last. Um, definitely way above Umbra still, but. Yeah, why, why am I even considering this? It's easily conduit. Teeth of gold, that artifact is so bad. Why, why, why? Well, these will do 30 damage, so that's good. Now, unfortunately... Yeah, man. It's a unit draft. Tethys has a really hard time with early Ring 1 trial. Ring 2 even, but... Ooh, okay, that'll help. Not that it's really the thing I need, but... Uh, you know, I can't complain. Well, there's no way we're gonna get that. That's just not happening. So, do I do this or this? I think that's more important. That way I can, uh... I mean, we can kill this guy. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do this. this should get me... a kill. I'm gonna do that. It's possible... That I could, uh... Okay, this is good. We're gonna do this. This. That should pretty much get us there, I think. Got ya. See, drain's good. It's either skip or tighten scrap. I like a skip here. I got a unit draft coming up. gotta take it when you see it right this early we can we can definitely build into it I can uh, hell vent here if I can not low roll and not find health here all right we got 25 we're good we'll still want something else to help hmm not really exactly what I'm looking for but whatever Might as well do this too. So, the full lodestone 
build isn't necessarily a surefire win like it was pre-DLC because Spike's mini-boss exists. That will definitely kill you. So we still want to find an answer for that and the one-third chance that we have that happen, right? So... I say we, we hold our gold now. I mean, I'm hitting this Helven up, so I should probably purge a card. Uh, the Shade Splitters, or or what? Probably these. Shade Splitters still fine. I'll keep the rest of gold, though. This should be fine. We want to draw load early. Well, we don't want to draw both of them early, but sometimes you just don't have a choice, do you? At least we'll take one out here. Um, no real point in doing this here, I think. Might as well just do that. problem with these stewards. I think I'd wait to try to get Cold Kalia back here. I'll probably need it for the boss. Let's get these assholes out of here, though. We'll still take some... Oh, no. We killed that thing. Nice. Luckily, we have a little bit of damage here. Hmm. I think we do this. So we... We're gonna redraw here. We want to get to Cold Kalia in time. We got to her. We can even get around the Ember Train. Put her in the very back because we want to stack as much Frostbite as possible. Plus she can kill all this stuff. That's a lot of sap. So we'll be good for the foreseeable future, but we really want like a siren. Probably a nameless is my guess. Ice storm. We'll go full condo it most likely. Uh perils. Could be okay. If I get stuck with cold Kalia as my unit. How many merchant of magics are we gonna hit? This one for sure. That one, possibly. That one, probably. Maybe that one. I think it's worth a shot. There we go. Now we just need to infuse... I don't even know if we'll, what we'll do in terms of the Nameless Siren, because I don't really want to infuse it into Cold Kalia. I mean, I could... That might be fine. That might be fine. We got time to figure it out, though. For now, let's do this. I could overstack a floor. It's also a way to do it. I could do card draw too, but it's pretty hard not to take pip. That's like, that's a good old magic right there. Pretty sure we can deal with some money here. Talos is a great one to sap the shit out of. Nice, we got this. You can just do that. Let's get around the old Ember Drain issue. Uh oh. Alright, this one doesn't do anything on strike other than slays. Just sort of the objective easiest Talos. Wow, I can even fit another one in. That's amazing. Well, we're definitely gonna do that. Should have put, uh,. Nameless in the very back, potentially, but I think it's not going to be too big of an issue. 
get one of these out of here. I don't think we need any more than two lodestones. I might take a third just in the event that I can't get two out early. That's totally fine. But for the most part, I'm getting four saps out of this. That's probably enough. Just a wild guess. stewards for those type of reasons. Wow, that was a lot of frostbite I got out of cold Kalia. And there could be an argument for not playing anything there considering I lose all the built up sap, but that was pretty hilarious to witness. Um This is fine. This is zero cost. I can always play for zero if I need to. I think Siren onto Siren makes sense. I think. Remember, my only real issue is killing like a tank that has a bunch of spikes, and the biggest example of that would be the mini boss. And uh, might as well just make a Siren that hits, you know, three. It'd be six rage and incant. That's pretty good. I think we still do draw. Ember could be a consideration because it's so tough to get Lodestone out, but I don't think so. Um, this is almost certainly a skip, and I think we can do this right now. We'll just get rid of Cold Kalia. Minus two is kind of unnecessary, I would say. I could do it here, if my plan is to eventually get that, like, up in cost. It's a chill win, but I think we just go all in on Conduit here. Third rank, maybe I don't need, but I'd rather have the second rank for now, so these crypts are easier to build, play. So ten probably goes here. Permafrost. Not super needed. Okay, my gold can be spent better elsewhere. I would like to hold out for an intrinsic double stack on the drain, maybe. Even if it hurts my ability to get... Uh... Well, you know what? Just an intrinsic zero cost is actually fine. Let's get that down to zero. I'm fine with that. Let's reroll. I think I hold out for uh, intrinsic there. I don't think I double stack anything. If I wanted to, maybe that makes sense. I'm kind of feeling the minus two here, honestly, though. Then if I spell chain it. Yeah, I'm going to do the minus two there. Ten we can do on one of these. We got some removals. Let's get the Kalia out. Um. We don't want the priority draw getting messed up there. And... Uh, yeah. We're not gonna be at... I could even probably do this, right? Don't really need to, though. Let's keep it at 75 for now. There are bad things that could happen. I'd be better off just getting rid of the, all the stewards, I think. The shade splitters are still fine. There's a hell vent. I'm trying to think if I if I do that or do I try to get like some health on Nameless Siren. Nameless Siren is squishy still right now. That is one problem with her. Spikes will wreck her. Nothing else really will. Just spikes, but you know it would for the record wreck her. I think we do this. I say we'd be aggressive. I think my my plan here. Oh, yeah, we should be able to do that. No problem. So this is the worst situation. 
not getting a load at the op opener. This is why I think I need to hellvent one more lodestone totem. I really need to lower the chance of this happening. Now, if I took an ember upgrade, I'd get around that, but I'd also really hurt my incants. I think maybe I should have took ember upgrade. So, we're pretty screwed here. This is very bad. Because I need Tethys up here, but I have to get a lodestone totem. Oh boy. Well, we can probably just survive this. That's not that much damage to the, uh, to the pyre. And we can lose Nameless. The main thing is we need to fucking, you know, fuck shit up, so to speak. Do this. Actually, keep her alive. It's not bad. All right. Now that's gonna hurt me. I don't know what to do about this. Not much I can do. bad spot here too. Just a rather unfortunate set of things that have happened here. I'm pretty sure I'm surviving this though, right? I've hurt them enough. As long as I survive this, I will be good. I think I'm better off with this, right? No, maybe this. I don't want to redraw into this, so let's... Let's do that. I would like some more pip. So let's do that. Sap him a bit more too. Painful. You're gonna have 11, 8. Yeah, it's not gonna... You'll have 11. You'll be down to 8, 7... Yeah, he's not going to attack me. 30. Worst comes to worst, I could always drain him. I think I'm down to dra drain him. Maybe I should have put that damage shield there. I forget if it's spikes. It's probably the spikes boss. But this should guarantee we're good here. Don't think you'll be causing me any issues. Just in case. Oh no, we're good here. He's not even killing me as it is. I can put this guy down. Should have done that. Alright, so we've survived an absolute disaster, and now I'm very solid on where I want to go next. Do I want a Titan's Tooth or another Drain? Two Drains can be a little iffy with an Incant deck. Um, I think I will take the Titan's Tooth. Eruption could be okay. Retrieval, actually, though. That will allow me, especially now that I hellvent these, that would really help me get out of this lodestone issue that I'm in at right now. So we do that. Health is fine, too. Let's double check, make sure nothing better comes up here. Uh, I could probably get rid of one of these. Let's do that. I don't need to engage anything, right? Yeah, definitely not doing that onto that. That's gonna make it unplayable. Definitely just gonna hellvent another one of these. So now, we should reliably be able to set up on top. Spikes is iffy. I lose Tethys. That's not a good situation. 
I've already got the best artifact I could possibly get. I don't think this is worth the risk. We're gonna absolutely crush this boss, by the way. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Come on. It's like, not only is it giving me now a 1 out of 4, I've already lost 1 out of 3, now it's gonna lose me a 1 out of 4. It's more than that, too, because I could still draw, you know, even if this is the, the one it gives me, I could still draw the other units, too, this turn. It's, this is getting actually pretty fucking stupid. Not only that, I draw the perils, so I'm guaranteed I just have no way to go up there. Well, if I get us, It better at least give me a fucking rubber morsel here. It doesn't even give me a rubber morsel. I can still do this, though. I can still do this because this gets around the Ember Drain, so at least I got a Shade Splitter. At least I got that. We can do that. I think we're better off doing this. Eh, let's hedge our bets. Let's do one and one. one, and one. Alright, I can get a guy down now. Can't get around the Ember Drain issue, but that's fine. I say we just do this. Start getting the armor and rage up. What a fucking turn, huh? Like, double dead weight? <laughs> this is why I have the draw, though, you know? It's like, I, I could do the Ember and I get around bullshit like that, which is, by the way, supposed to be unlikely to happen. And then I'm screwed on draw, which will, more of the time I feel, be the thing that would fuck me over. Get rid of this piece of shit. Yeah, let's get this guy fucked up. I like that more. Not the best to draw that and the unit at the same time. NGL there. NGL. But we can still draw the other one. I think that's what I'll probably end up doing. Let's do this. If that's already dying, I might as well do this then. Can put this one behind. Start him off with some sap, which will kill him, so that's nice. Just a bit of sap. This is not too bad for an Ember or an Incant deck. I think I value the removals more. That Perils on a Holdover would be nice. We even got a Spell Chain. Not feeling any of that. I like that. Let's put 10 there. Shit frost. It won't give me a holdover, huh? Well, we could always remove the perils if it's not gonna give me holdover. Yeah, I'm not really feeling the shit frost. I'm down for that. Let's just make that cost less. Do we want to consume anything here? Not really. I've already spent a lot on removals. Let's just get rid of some more shade splitters. <clears throat> I think I like the spell chain here. This is why I did minus two on it, so we might as well go in on that. Ten and pierce. I think I like that here. Could do it there too. Maybe I'll just do it there. I think I like that. Yeah, let's, let's live with that. I'm pretty sure we're going to crush this whole run. Like, I don't really see too many ways we could lose this, even if it keeps giving me these crap draws. Okay, finally I get a good draw. 
the, uh, yeah, this is absolutely fine. Let's just put a little bit of a, uh, oh, right, can't do that. Yeah, whatever. I don't care too much about the scourges. The ember drained for a bit, but whatever. Bets here a little bit. Take a little bit of fire damage, but hey, that's that's a sin of shadow for you. It's the scourge fell equivalent. I'm fine with this. Oh wait, it's not even an incant. That's right. Sin of shadow really isn't too bad, is he? Just trying to see maybe what we want to do there, but. I don't mind that he's stealth, because he's going to be sapped to oblivion by the time this fight is done. Okay. Well, we might as well just do that. Keep encanting up here. It's tough to draw through your deck when you got all these scourges coming through. I will admit that. Maybe I should have tried to ice storm one of these. I felt like it... it was it, There was a chance it wasn't going to hit, so I was like... Yeah. Okay, that rubber would be good. We could actually do the perils this turn. And actually we got we got a pretty good turn coming up here even. Now granted this is gonna daze everybody, I think that's fine. Is it Might be better that we don't play this this turn. We'll have it at a zero cost later time. I'm pretty sure we got this, so there's no sense taking pyro damage if I don't have to. Now we're talking. This we can do. He's already dead, but you know we're gonna give it to him. There we go. Alright. Not that. Not that. Maybe that. I'd be down for it, probably. So, at this point... Honestly, I think I still do draw. This is what, you know... You just gotta live with the weird, the awkwardness. You're much better off getting a card every single turn than just setting up early. Good reasons to go either side. I mean, again, I'm not really looking for any specific artifacts beyond the one I already have. So maybe I don't. I, normally I would go this route. There's more value over here for sure, but I think I still would like to get the perils on a holdover or something. Don't really know that... Oh, you know what? This is actually fine. Let's sap stone. Put that on one of these. You never know. It might really help us turn one. Turn one is potentially an issue, remember. I can go mid, but it's, it's a bit awkward. Divinity, specifically, is what I'm referring to here. I think the piercing should go here now. I'm fine going hard here. Okay, we did find the holdover. I do think we will do that here then. That's pretty good. That will allow some shenanigans for sure. 
think we want this down to zero. I could do that. Not opposed to that at all. Not opposed to that either. Let's do this and this. So we're not hitting intrinsic, right? Well, it could. It could hit it. You know, I don't think we want any shade splitters. They're okay to get around the ember drain, but I think we're going to be fine. So I could do the third point here. Why not? I don't think Chowin gets us anything. At least I'll still have some extra use for the conduit. I have to imagine this is gonna be fine. They do a bit of damage, but... I mitigate a bit of damage. Look at this. Dude... You have to admit, my RNG is pretty fucking bad. How many times has this happened now? <sighs> it's fucking frustrating. So, in this fight, I don't really need Nameless Siren. I can get around the Ember Drain by doing this. So I will just do this and wait for the stuff to come, I guess. I don't even want to do that, really. So we'll just do this. Get one Lodestone, Lodestone Totem in. Horrible turn to draw that too. Just very unfortunate, but we gotta get this in. Um we can do We can try to hit this here. We might need to. We might as well do this, I guess. Even though I can't play it. Might as well do this. Um We'll try for this. Yeah, wasn't wasn't bound to hit that one. I mean, if I can't even hit, if I can't even stop losing multiple one out of fours out out of one out of fours, yeah, I probably can't do that, right? Okay, we got the second one in here at least. We can start hitting here. All right, it's not too bad. do that just in case. I don't want any bullshit spike shenanigans to fuck me up. Oh, I just realized this guy's gonna fuck my pyre up. Well, whatever. Not too bad. This is why we need the siren in. Here, let's do this. 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 That. Alright, we've got a definite floor going now. Might even want to save these, I'm thinking. I'm going to save them for the boss if for some reason. I, like, if I drew two dead weights in a turn, that wouldn't be good. Obviously. I'm happy with that old magic play. I like that I can play it twice for zero. Not a good one for speedruns, I can tell you that. This is all very unnecessary, but it is necessary because I'm pissed at the fucking bullshit the starts it's been giving me here. I thought we would at least have to sap him a little bit there. I didn't actually think we would be having enough armor to stop his ridiculous attack amount, but hey, I guess we do. I'm happy with the uh, consumer move there. 
I'm giving this guy everything he has. This is payback for the last, like, bullcrap RNGs. By the way, the one I lost... Not necessarily bullcrap RNG, but it was not... It was not the kindest to me. It's like... I had a plan that had likely... A good likelihood to succeed. I just could not hit on anything past Ring 3. I just didn't... Went all the way to the Divinity. I almost skipped every card it gave me. Which, when you know how much I love Hellhorn cards, means I got some pretty bad offerings, right? Um... I think I skipped these. Best card in the game. A little too OP. A little too OP. Engine upgrade could work. It's kind of unnecessary at the same time, I would say. Forever consume could work, but again, <clears throat> at this point, I really don't need anything. I think we definitely go the Hellvent route. We have no removals to really make. Not really any spell upgrades at this point that we're looking for. Could do that. It's kind of unnecessary. I'd rather have this, actually. And let's see if we can get just some... That works. Let's re-roll for health. Damage shield actually might be better. Um, that protects against more, I think. And... Do I have enough for a... Nope. Guess we'll make a removal. Ooh, intrinsic. Okay. I like that. It's for divinity. And spell chain. Might as well do it there, right? Go to Shardsville here. Not gonna do that, though. Let's hellvent the one that has the sap. Increase the likelihood that we find it turn one against Divinity. And we'll just remove... What's the shittiest card I have? Frozen Lance. Works for me. Foyt. Temperance definitely not going to beat me. I can guarantee you that. What do you know? <laughs> Dude, it is ridiculous. It's one out of five now. Not only is it one out of five, I have, you know, double draw. Granted, one card is intrinsic. Only one. And I can't even... It's like, not only does it fuck me on that, it doesn't draw me, like, a lodestone to get out of it. <sighs> Fucking joke. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get around this, I think, hopefully, by, I'm going to do this to, um, just try to cycle back through the deck and eventually get what I need. Absolute fucking joke, though. Absolute bullshit. Insanely bad fucking RNG. Looks like we'll, okay, we'll get to this. I guess that's another thing. I didn't really think of that, but cycling through to get perils gets me out of this, so... Let's do this, get them both in. Maybe it's actually better to leave that one till later. Who knows, for whatever reason I might need it. We're good, though. We're... it's... it's over at this point. I... I could have sworn I put the lodestones in front of Nameless, but clearly I didn't. It's not going to matter, probably, but that is interesting, to say the least. Alright, let's do this. I'll at least get this one in the front. Just a bit of sap. I think we might be getting a sap record applied this, uh, this run. Just a wild guess. Alright, you will also apply some sap. Just a, just a bit of sap. 50. I 
Oh, Seraph. My game is, like, legitimately starting to lag right now. Didn't really need to play that, did I? I mean, I didn't come this way to, uh, not play everything I have. Game, if you want to screw me over on the zero lodestone totem starts, I'm gonna give you literally everything I have. That's right. The game is sentient, and I am getting my payback here. Uh, a bit, a wee bit ridiculous, but I definitely am going for my SAP application record here, so we're going all the way. This is technically a no frenzy stone run, by the way. count it. <laughs> I'll be curious to see how I'm gonna get this game on the Switch. They just announced that. I'll be very curious to see how it handles a run like this. <laughs> uh, I'd be very impressed if it can handle it with any grace at all. Very impressed. I actually don't want to play this here, technically, but, uh, yeah, it's fine. Oh, it killed it anyway. Forgot that was the upgraded one. I forgot that I had upgraded a one, I should say. I think I found my clickbait, uh, screenshot here. There's a nice, nice little clickbait uh, screenshot for you. 278 sap. Let's see if we can get more on Divinity, huh? Hmm. Is that gonna screw me? I don't think so. I don't think there's any way that screws me. Only if I get Endless Fade. And since I said it, it'll probably be the first champ I get. Yay, I finally got a guy. It's even the right one, too. So he'll go down to a really good amount of sap, and we'll just be good right from the get-go. So no complaints here. Game is solved. We'll get you down for show. Harvest Rector. Just put him out there to die, I guess. We'll draw back into them eventually. Let's give him some damage shield. Her. Nice. Now we got this, so we can put this down. Uh, that's definitely a champ I can't play. <laughs> that's another way I can get screwed. Don't worry, the game will find a way to screw me. That's how it likes to do it. But I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. The only thing I'll just not get is 
you know, as much rage, or uh, as much, what am I trying, what's the word I'm looking for? I won't get as much sap as I could have. Oh, I should do this now, huh? Yeah. Even, oh my god, uh, blank pages, just don't ever take it. Don't ever take it. Not worth your time. I could have... No, I couldn't have done that there. Well, do I put this guy down or what? I could technically... Hmm. Let's have him die. I could technically get this guy down if I play my old magic on another floor, which honestly I'm gonna do, because I'm... I don't want to keep seeing that guy's just ugly face. Are you kidding me, dude? It's just... It's... <laughs> Oh my god, fucking endless fade. Piece of shit. Put you down, I guess. You'll notice I hardly got any spells here, too. Like, it's like I drew both fucking lodestones and the dead weights. So I'm actually, like, kind of not even doing that well here. Like, I'm now gonna take a shitload of damage to my pyre. I didn't expect that this would happen, you know? Fuck me. I'm just gonna let that go. I need to draw spells for this next set fight. <sighs> this idiot die right here. Okay, I got this. Okay, I got enough down there to play the monsters out now. We can get our space up here still. I think I'm going to not play this drain. Just draw some more cards. Okay, I can get him out now. I'm going to get Ember Drained, but fuck it. Uh, let's do this. This. And this. Hopefully 55 is enough, or 61 is enough sap, I think. We, of course, couldn't get a Crypt Builder to kill the guy in front. Now, if that happens in Spike's boss... Oh, nice, it actually didn't do Spike's boss. Thank, thank God. I guess Ember Drain doesn't matter, does it? Please tell me you're in death range, okay? Probably just do that. All right. So far, Blink Pages has only screwed me. Like right here, I drew this instead of a spell. My best bet is if I can I can get her on this floor, it looks like. Yeah, let's just do that. And if I sap everything, I should be good. Maybe I should even give her some damage, I don't know. Now I don't have to redraw her, so that's good. Definitely want to stack as much sap, sap on this guy as possible. Pretty sure we'll be fine, but you can never be too certain.
<laughs> go to slow mo. How long do you think this is gonna take? <laughs> I mean, should I just let this play out? It'd be pretty stupid, right? I mean, I guess she's doing a lot of damage. Ah, yeah, whatever. Let's, let's do this. Alright. A frustrating run, to be honest. Like, it should have gone way smoother. I just... Yeah. Don't take blank pages, though. That's on me. I should have known better. There was really nothing good that could have came from it. But, uh, you know, just beyond that, the several of, the, of those rings we were forced into just awful situations. I think I navigated it pretty well, though. Like, going bottom floor with a siren that one ring. Okay, that had to have been the sap record, too, right? I wish it told me how much sap was applied in this run, particularly. Incant trigger, so definitely the... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got the sap. Um, let's just go ahead. MVP to Lodestone. Though, I don't know. I almost don't want to give it to Lodestone. You know what? Let's give it to the Incant Artifact, whatever it's called. Let's uh, check and see what the uh, sap record is. Um, or sap record for me. Uh, let's see. Sap, sap, sap. Where is it? Oh, 4,000? That had to have been it, right? We'll, we'll roughly say yes. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Till next time, peace.